But to your question, there isn't any threat to safety and security of Abuja. Abuja is secure and very, very safe. If there was a leak, as you mentioned, it could just be operational alert that does not require any, any, any worry or concern. The council has mandated us to assure Nigerians of their safety, of their security, and enduring peace for the period of the festivities. What you have said is an allegation which has not been proven. It has been an allegation always. You see, the spaces are different. The, the, the whole of uh, the, the, the southeast, in terms of landmarks, might not, be, might not be as large as Niger State. So certainly, you may see a number of policemen uh, within a very uh, small space uh, trying to do policing work. And you may see another number, not equal, doing more, much more than that. But when you talk about policing a population, a policing a, a place where there is economic activity or policing a place where there is more threats, then certainly you have to put more men to, 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 to govern that small space. And that is why you are seeing. Yet with all this thing that you are saying, within a small space of time, you will see policemen. But the, there is yes more crime in the southeast than in than, 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 than in some of the states that are larger in area, in landmarks. So the distribution is based on population, is based on economic activities, is based on nature of crime and, uh, and the threats that is available to us based on our assessment. The marching orders are always the same. You have even told Nigerians the marching orders of the president, it has always been the same. There is no space, there is no tolerance to any threat to security. There is no, sp no sparing of any, any terrorist. And uh, there must be an intelligence gathering, there must be proactive uh, prevention of crime, pre of crime, and there must be checkmating of all those that are involved in criminal activities, whether it be terrorism, banditry, or armed robbery, or whatever. And that is what we are trying to do to the best of our knowledge and ability. Yes, it has been done before and it has also been done even after that some of those who must have planned and, uh, and, and uh, thrown those rockets have been taken out. Good afternoon. Uh, to respond to your question, it is not a new measure. We are trying to improve on what we are doing to ensure there is uh, uh, peace, uh, law and order during the Ulitide period and beyond. It is just to improve on what we have. There is always room for improvement in what we are doing. They are launching into major towns. They are launched in Maiduguri. It is a concern, and it has been seriously checkmated, and uh, there are efforts to continuously checkmate it. And uh, what they have done yesterday, yes, they have done it, uh, but to, 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 the, to a large extent, uh, they have not achieved much of what they have intended to achieve because of the, the, the situation that the security agencies, particularly the military, put in place. Thank 
I, I, what I said was there is threat to crime more in where you have more people and more economic activities than when you have dispersed space where there are no population of people. Where there are more people, you have problem of policing than when you have, don't have. What we have in some of the states is big landmarks without actually having too many people. In some spaces, we have too many people in a small place. That means there is human interaction, and you need to have police in there, much more than what you will have in where you don't have that number of population. Yeah, gentlemen of the press, thank you. Compliment of the season. Happy New Year.